Hi everyone, welcome back to Humankind. Since we last left off, there's actually been a major update to the game, but before we get to that, I've managed to make Edgar surrender to us. So we're gonna go ahead and set our terms for the peace. So I actually do wanna take some of his territory, but I do mostly want his money. So uh, we're just gonna take this territory, uh, if we was out of here, which I think it's this territory right up here. Uh, it'll be good for our next city, which we can't found quite yet. Uh, our limit's still 4 out of 3. I can see the UI looks a lot better with this update. Um, it's actually giving me hope for this game that maybe it'll get uh, significantly better, but I'm still not convinced enough to buy the DLC that's on sale. I think it's on sale until the 21st. Uh, so if you're interested in the DLC, you should go get it while it's on sale, but I'm not quite sold on it yet. Anyway um let's resolve this so we're gonna take our territory and get our money and force that surrender support. it is our rock in a storm yeah edgar take My that will not be slaughtered we surrender yeah 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 surrender to us so now we have this territory uh we're just gonna leave it here for now they totally overhauled the trade system and i think it's definitely a lot better just from what i've seen so you can see um some of these resources that we have actually now are plus five or plus you know plus three plus two they changed uh the number of resources that are available so it's you know it's a little more interesting it's kind of a lot more like civ uh or at least what i'd expect so that there's different there's different reasons to go for uh specific territories other than just having a resource you know it needs to have a lot of a resource and you know these trade routes so if we're trading with uh say another civilization it's beneficial if we have our trade nodes you know close to each other rather than far apart otherwise we're going to get something like oh i think there was a trade node out here at some point or i guess not uh well there might be trade nodes that pop up uh i was gonna also go for this culture over here or the this independent people over here the knock but they're actually declining so we, it's we're too late <laughs> We can't save them. Uh, we, I guess we could just like speed run, uh, snatch this territory before um, Edgar's able to get it. But in the meantime, okay, this is really funny to me. And I just had to mention it before we continue. Edgar just like demanded the territory back, even though we just got it from him. Uh, I, will, I, I declined his uh, grievance, but dude, I just took the territory from you. No, I'm not going to give it back to you. All right, our religion is finally at the point where it can be upgraded to the final level. The uh, tier four, I guess. And while all of these are pretty good, uh, plus 50 science, it's great. Plus 20 stability. We could probably use that right now, honestly. Uh, and then meditate often over here. Oh, plus two combat strength. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, I like to pick donate generously, mostly because of money encouraging me to build more religious districts and hopefully getting some alliances in the future. But also because it allows us to build three maximum holy sites, plus three. So, I think it's going to be pretty easy to spread our religion across the world and eliminate sort of Astrianism and Christianity. Well, we, we won't try to eliminate them, but, you know, we'll just shine brighter than everyone else. So, we'll choose this tenant, uh, tenant, rather, and it's like that. We are tier four religion. Uh, we're covering most of the world, honestly. Um, it looks like Nubian sh uh, shamanism is not gonna make it at all it's just gonna be totally wiped out but uh yeah i don't think our friend our uh enemies been? over here uh the byzantines really want to convert to our religion uh and edgar oh so so we claim this territory over here um they just went out and we've been sending so we've been sending these uh the always send your naval units to look for things because yeah look look at this we can just chain them hopefully and get more ships but it'll be giving us a lot of money and just helping us get through this age in general. Uh, oh, we're just so short. Um, just watch the Lost of sea, lost at Sea, of course. Uh, but that's not too much of a problem now that we have more advanced ships. Uh, so he's definitely going to attack us. Um, let's see if we can... It is pleasing to see you, friend. Yeah, how about a non-aggression pact, buddy? We would all no, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Neither interesting nor desirable. Whatever. I just like to renounce it because then, you know, I like always come out as the good guy. <laughs> if they end up taking this territory from us, it's really not the end of the world because one, we could always just take it back. i um, not concerned about that. But two, um, we might not actually need it uh, seeing as it doesn't really have anything useful. Now, neither does this one either, but 
you know, as long as we have a ledge on their continent, we can always take them out if we so desire. Uh, pink culture, so the Byzantines have become the Caribbean pirates, which was actually just added with the update, so that's interesting to see. Ooh, a nice outfit. Uh, I think we'll be going as the Dutch next era, but before we do that, there's a couple of era- oh, so I guess we'll go back to that menu, actually. There's a couple of era stars I wanted to unlock before we go there, and that's the scientist star. But I also wanted to get the agrarian star, because I don't think our population is that far off. And then we can stay really far ahead in fame, which we, you know, we are pretty much, um, I think Edgar, oh, oh yeah, I wanted to mention that. Edgar is totally 180 and he is now reverential of us. Um, we are doing great strides in terms of diplomacy, so... We've turned him around from an enemy to a friend, even though we took his territory. And, uh, pink culture, the, so the Caribbean pirates are also friendly with us, so that's doing great. And I think the I Franks are bound people. to us. Remember that. I tried to propose an alliance to them, and they said no, and I saw that that actually cost us a lot of influence. So, you know, we'll just wait for someone else to decide they want to be in an alliance with us. But I also built another wonder, so we finished... Uh, the Notre Dame, which is what we were working on. And then I built uh, this wonder here. And I don't know if I already mentioned it, but we uh, we found a uh, fox lore over here um, from the ruins of the Nock people. Uh, so thanks for letting me inherit all of your pre-built uh, quarters, uh, districts. Um, that's nice. Uh, we built, as soon as we could, uh, a religious... Um, Oh my goodness, what am I, why I can't remember what they're called. Uh, Obelisk of the Gods. We built one of those out here uh, in the hopes that we can convert Edgar to our religion. And it's working pretty well. Uh, we've totally eliminated um, Nubian's religion down here. <laughs> so, you know, that's gone. And uh, Eternalism is doing its work on uh, Christianity now. Um, sorry, Christianity. Uh, next, our next target is Zoroastrianism, which is somehow going to make it pretty long uh so impressive victory for that faith uh but you know eternalism is going to take over the world eventually so you know enjoy your fun while it lasts all right everyone just a few turns later and i think we are ready to go to the next era the dutch awesome we're doing it mostly for the money oh well hold on we gotta our city's gotta do something real quick um yeah, we'll just have you build a building, I guess. And that should be good. So, end turn. We are now playing as the Dutch. Thanks, Teutons. Had a really cool uniform, but it's time to move on. And wow, looks like we got some proposals. You intrigue me. Alliance, Let's... except... Your proposal makes good sense. And now they are bound to I us. We yes. discover all of their... Um, on all their discoveries and you seem open borders. Okay, yes, that sounds good. Dispute the benefit in that. And that also means we'll have better opportunities of uh, spreading our religion. Well, I mean, you don't really need to worry about that anymore. But um, spreading our influence, which is doing that's doing pretty well. So I think we're doing a pretty good job of uh, covering the world orange. Um, so. They're gonna build these VOC warehouses. They're gonna be giving us lots and lots of money that we can, you know, do whatever we want. So you wanna place them right next to these uh, ports, and uh, we're gonna try to place them in every single city if we can. They're gonna be our primary focus. Yep, it's okay if it replaces a district, that's fine. And here as well. And here as well. Uh, we'll probably move them to the, yeah, let's move them to the front of the list. So I, I queue, I just queue a lot of buildings, uh, for now anyway, since we're doing, we're kind of just on cruise control, um, since nobody really wants to fight us anymore, thankfully. Um, make sure to, you know, as your population grows, yeah, you don't want situations like this if you can avoid it, um, and just try to get troops out. Um, I'm trying to upgrade the ones we already have before I build any new ones, but that's probably gonna take a while, so... I might just start moving pops out. And remember, you can you can move them around uh, between cities as well using units. So worth considering if you need population in a specific area. Although I think our cities are pretty evenly distributed. So not too bad. Oh, and one more thing. Before anyone takes it from us, this is the wonder we're going to be working on for this age. Claim that now. 
I'm sure we'll be able to build some more, but we at least want that. And then we can have this, we have this merchant ability, so we can actually invest in other tiles, but it looks like we can invest in our own extractors as well for invest 100 influence and gain 335 money. Well, that sounds good to me. It looks like I gained influence, though. That's kind of weird. Did I, though? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hey, the, the money is the best part, though, because we're definitely going to need that for the buildings. Um, oh, this one we could buy out. Ah, I didn't give us that much in that city. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll sh keep trying to invest in all of our cities. But like I said, if we can get our religion across the world, I'm not super worried uh, in terms of fame. And I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be okay in that game. And also, there's only one other civilization that's in the era with us, and the other two are like way behind. So I'm really not worried. And Hank also what? what oh yeah, they. They're, they made the alliance with us, and they were the original one who declared war on us, and now we're best friends, so... They are a massive empire, though. Wow. Okay. Uh, maybe we should be friends with them. Uh, we're not... Oh, I guess we're about the same size. I, I like that um, our empires are all roughly the same size. I think, actually, in the patch notes I have over here... Um, yeah, they, they improved the AI quite a bit, actually, uh, in terms of how they... You know settle cities and expand and whatever and uh and earlier versions of the games they definitely uh the games earlier versions of the game they definitely had problems with that so i'm glad that that's something they tried to address all right before too much more happens there is a war going on uh between so so actually we're allied with everyone but there's a war going on between uh pink purple and blue uh where they are going against blue pink and purple so edgar's our friend but he's being uh crushed as you can see his uh, empire is currently being conquered uh so i mean I, i'm not gonna be too hurt if he's gone uh maybe we'll scoop in or we'll swoop in and steal some of his lands but we're currently allied with him so that's probably not gonna happen we'll just wait for uh one of these empires to maybe break down but you know we're doing doing well so i think the purple actually uh made it into this era so you know, they skyrocketed, but blue is uh, way behind. I don't know why I keep calling them by their color. <laughs> Edgar is really far behind. Um, Kaida is, you know, doing fine. But we're still ahead in fame, so it's still not a problem. Um, oh, well, we picked uh, Machu Picchu as our next um, wonder here. I built another uh, obelisk of the gods uh, because I want to spread our religion out here. But we finally... Uh, took over Edgar's empire with our faith, so that's doing great. As we go to um, our religion here, we'll see that Christianity actually did make it to tier 4. Zoroastrianism's at tier 3, so they're catching up, and Christianity actually did catch up, but now it's um, kind of not around, so... <laughs> Bummer. Uh, other than that, we... Oh, we've been trying to get more... I'm, our, my main science goal has been trying to get to the manufactory as quickly as possible. We actually can buy uh, more, re or we can power invest into more resources. So, um, I think we actually get more money if we invest in someone else's. Yeah. So, we'll actually invest in these. We get 660. That's a good amount of money. All right. Makaida is shot ahead to the next era. And that kind of scares me a little bit, but I think it's because um, they absolutely <laughs> destroyed um edgar's empire uh he's got one city and one territory and a man's not doing so well uh but it's okay because you know even just because they made it to the next era before us doesn't really mean they can do much because i think they just shot ahead because of the war score probably and the territory claiming so they're probably not too far ahead in research i hope and i, I we managed to get pretty much every wondrous uh, effect from the resources we have so the manufacturing bonus and we're trying to get these uh salt petra resources improved we need to get an another technology for those i'll script this while we're at it um i'm trying to get all of our ships back into port now mostly because most of the area is explored um those will still appear the entry or the intrigue sites those um little sites that you go to for you know the influence and gold and all that kind of stuff those will still appear but you know they're not as much worth our time because we kind of want to invest in our military definitely by this point because um 
everyone seems to be war hungry and i definitely don't want to be on the receiving end so yeah we'll be taking care of that hi everyone thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button and maybe even clicky clack on your keyboard leave a comment let me know what you thought i'm wolvlox and i'll see you in the next one peace